Her daughter was killed by a man enraged because she wouldn't date him. And now a grieving mother wants to honor her memory properly. To news reporter Vanessa Van Hafty reports how the final gift she says she can't afford. There's very few happy days anymore. Gail Banuelos comes to her daughter's gravesite each week. There will always be an emptiness, an emptiness that nobody or nothing can ever replace. She was the only person that could fill that void, that hole in my heart that's there. Unlike the others here, it's just a plot of land. Banuelos can't afford a proper headstone. She uses balloons instead. There's nothing to say my baby's right here. The mother of five lives paycheck to paycheck, caring for her severely disabled adult son. Donations from a fundraiser paid for her daughter's burial. Nothing was left for a grave marker. She hopes to one day give her daughter one final gift. I want her headstone to have a star with either a circle or an oval with her picture in it. And then I want the trail of glitter behind the star. Jennifer Cranick was shot in the head outside of this bar in Lemon Grove two years ago. Just this week, Casey Tashida was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Prosecutors say the former Navy sailor was obsessed with the 30-year-old beauty and couldn't take no for an answer. Now, with her daughter's killer finally behind bars, she's still waiting for closure and that final chapter. I think once the headstone's on there, it's going to be an even bigger sense of closure to the fact that she's really gone. In El Cajon, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News. That headstone will cost $5,000. A GoFundMe page has been set up today under Jennifer Cranick. You can find a link to it on 10news.com. Just click on the red TV button.